Hello once again to the Blues Talking Mammo. Students, today I will be talking about another accounting concept. As you guys know, we are studying the accounting principles. And underneath accounting principles, there are accounting concepts and accounting conventions. It's our series of accounting concepts in which we will be studying the cost concept today. This is the fourth concept of accounting. So guys, what's the cost concept? As you know, the cost is closely related to the value or the price of something. Of course, it is. So how this concept works? Firstly, I will be telling you something about the cost concept in GIST. The gist of cost concept is that we need to record everything in accounting which we acquire, which we buy in our business, in every transaction related to our purchases. We need to record it on the cost price rather than its market value, rather than its tag or list price. So the cost concept says that everything should be noted or recorded in the books of accounts by its cost price. Another important thing regarding this concept is that it is closely related to the going concern concept. How it's interlinked with the going concern concept, I will be talking about this and I will also be talking about the utility of a cost concept and also what's the real value of anything and how it works in accounting, what's the cost value, what's the market value. So let's get started. As I said that this concept is closely related to the going concern concept. How can we say so? As we know that the going concern concept says that the business is a ever recurring and continuing process which will be continued for the years to come. So this is uh, basically we can say that this concept says that uh, the business will uh, you know make its own history. Uh, that's the point where it it's interlinked with this cost concept. How? Because in cost concept, the historical cost of anything in accounting matters rather than its market value. What's the historical cost now? Let me. Let me tell you everything about the cost, what the cost are. There is market value of anything when we buy, when we go to buy anything from the market, there is a market value, there is a tag, price or listed price of anything. Then there comes the cost price. Then comes the real value. Then books, book value or the going concern value. and the historical cost. So, what are the difference between these? Let me tell you with the help of an example here. Suppose there is a customer, Mr. ABC. goes to a supplier XYZ in order to buy some stuff for his business use let's say he's gonna buy some furniture from XYZ and here Mr. XYZ says that 100,000 rupees is the tag or listed price of this furniture but he would say uh, suppose Mr. ABC customer is a big company and he owns many other businesses. Let's say uh, he owns a private school, for example, and uh, he uh, you know purchases the furniture on a regular basis for his other branches of, branches of schools from uh, Mr. XYZ 
So here in this case, Mr. ABC would say that I am your regular customer or Mr. XYZ can himself relax Mr. ABC by giving him some discount on this purchase. Let's say he gives him the discount of rupees 5000. So here, uh, Mr. ABC has to pay the price of 95,000 only in this case, in this scenario. And what will be this price called? This is the market value of the furniture. This is also the market value. The tag price or the, uh, you know, or the listed price will also be the market value, market value at that time. So, and uh, this is the market value. And this value is the cost price for Mr. ABC, the customer. Uh, because he's going to record his furniture, this purchase uh, by 95,000 in his books of accounts. This would be the cost price of the furniture. So, we as we have told you, the market value. About the market value, the market value of anything denotes that the value of the something in the market in the given period of time is called market value. This is clear. So what's the tag or listed price? Tag or listed price is also a market value. But it might, you know, change because uh, because of the area as we know that if you go to uh, the big mall and if you go to, you know, a, a normal a small retail shop, then the tag price or market value may differ to some extent. There might be minor difference between these two prices that that is not not so noticeable in in case if you purchase one or two items, but if you buy or purchase something in bulk, then of course that difference would be matter. Um, so uh, th this is the market value, this is the tag price, and what's the cost price? Cost price is the actual price on which you acquire something after. Um, So, cost price of something for the buyer is the value of something after getting the trade discount if any. That will be the cost price. So, the real value. What's the real value? The real value of anything is... Real value of anything is the resale value. To which we can also call the resale value of something in the market in the given period of time is called the real value of that property would be the book value. The value, book value of something is or the going concern value is uh, this cost price which we will record by which we will record it in our uh, accounts book. So what's the historical cost here and how this concept is related to this concept? With the help of historical cost. Let me explain the historical cost now. Let me remove this first. As I have told you that in this case, in the 100,000 rupees was the tag or the listed price or and also it was the market value of that piece of furniture which Mr. ABC wanted to buy from Mr. XYZ. But well, the cost price for Mr. ABC at the time uh, after uh, subtracting the trade discount of 5,000 rupees would be the cost price. So here the 5,000 rupees would be ignored. Uh, why? why they would be ignored because that's the trade discount and it's the it's the rule of accounting that you don't account any trade discount in the books of accounts so uh, this is uh, the cost price and cost of something
So the cost of something is taken as a basis for recording of depreciation in the books of accounts. As you know, what's the depreciation? The depreciation is basically the wear and tear value of something of some asset due to its continuous usage uh, when it gets old that's the wear and tear value you could say uh, that after using an asset depreciates depreciates ka matlab ye hai ke like if you buy this furniture for 95000 rupees today and after one year let's say what its price will be as i have told you earlier cost price is the basis for calculating the useful uh, uh, calculating the depreciation depreciation and the depreciation is a cost divided by useful life if you say the useful life of this furniture will be 10 years what its depreciation would be that would be 9500 rupees 9500 rupees so after the end of first accounting period we would say what will be the price of book value or the cost historical cost of our furniture that would be 95000 minus this depreciation and it comes 90000 rupees it would be this 90,000 rupees. So this is the concept of historical cost. As you know that in the going concern value, we also assumed that uh, the liabilities would be paid after their maturity. And we also assumed that every asset uh, would be, you know, uh, by the usage, would be recorded in the books of accounts by its usage and the depreciation will be calculated and it will be assumed that the business will make its history in another sense. So this is also the case with this cost concept. Guys, as you know, the market value of anything keeps on changing. The market, market value of things related to stocks, uh, assets and everything, everything in market, whether it be, you know, for the commercial use or for personal use, the market value may be changing. It's, you know, fluctuating, like uh, sometimes it may increase, it may decrease. But according to this concept, the rules for accountants is to ignore the uh, fluctuating market values. They would go by the cost price only. Only and only the cost price will be recorded in the books of accounts and while ma maintaining the balance sheets from year to year while preparing the final accounts, the, uh, the, that cost price would be taken as historical cost. What's the historical cost? That's of course the uh, uh, cost minus depreciation and the ever decreasing price after depreciating of that, that asset would would matter in the books of accounts rather than its fluctuating market value. So the accountants would totally ignore the market value of anything. And also, this concept also denotes that there is no room for subjectivity Personal assessment Arbitrary recording So there is no room for subjectivity because according to this rule the purpose of accounting should be to uh, record the cost value because it's more objective. So the subjectivity here will be ignored. Also the personal assessment of an accountant. Suppose in this case, I've also given you the similar example in my previous lecture while telling you about debit and credit rules perhaps. I would give uh, the link to that video in the description box below so that you can check the similar example. So, there is no room for personal assessments. So, uh, suppose um, if an accountant says that I want to, if I have uh, bought it for 95,000 rupees, but I would record it by 
uh, 1 lakh rupees or I would also record the trade discount of 5000 rupees. So there is no mm, uh, room for personal assessment while recording the accounting entries and also the arbitrary recording. You know, you can't make arbitrary means all in all, you are all in all and you can make your own rules. You can, you know, um, go with your own consent. It's not correct in this case of accounting. So it also implies that this concept, the implications of this concept, it also implies that there is no room for subjectivity, no personal assessment and arbitrary recording. And only anything can be recorded on the cost price rather than any other type of value of market value. So then there comes the utility. Then there comes the utility of this concept. What's the utility of this concept? It's more objective, more objective, more truthful records more reliable and comparable records so what's the utility of this concept this is more objective this is more objective more truthful records will be uh, prepared by following this concept in the accounting and, and more reliable and comparable records would be prepared. So guys, now you know what's the cost concept, what's the historical value, and what's the accounting treatment of cost price of any acquired assets in the subsequent period uh, with regard to the historical value of something. Also you know about the utility of this concept and there is no room for some points according to this concept in accounting like subjectivity, personal assessment, personal bias, or arbitrary, being arbitrary. That's all for today guys. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to share it with your uh, friends and other students who might find my videos useful. That's all for today. Thank you. Take care. Bye.